Welcome to today's encouragement from Our Daily Bread. I'm Kirsten Holmberg, and I titled today's reading, In God's Hands. Turning 18 ushered in a new era in my daughter's life. Legally an adult, she now had the right to vote in future elections and would soon embark on life after graduating from high school. This shift had instilled in me a sense of urgency. I would have precious little time with her under my roof to impart to her the wisdom she'd need to face the world on her own, how to manage finances, stay alert to world issues, and make sound decisions. My sense of duty to equip my daughter to handle her life was understandable. After all, I loved her and I desired for her to flourish. But I realized that while I had an important role— It wasn't solely, or even primarily, my job. In Paul's words to the Thessalonians, a group of people he considered his children in the faith because he taught them about Jesus, he urged them to help one another. But ultimately, he trusted their growth to God. He acknowledged that God would sanctify them through and through. Paul trusted God to do what he couldn't. Prepare them, spirit, soul, and body, for the eventual return of Jesus. Though his letters to the Thessalonians contained instructions, his trust in God for their well-being and preparedness teaches us that growth in the lives of those we care for is ultimately in God's hands. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is from 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verses 12 through 28. Now we ask you, brothers and sisters, to acknowledge those who work hard among you, who care for you in the Lord and who admonish you. Hold them in the highest regard and love because of their work. Live in peace with each other. And we urge you, brothers and sisters, warn those who are idle and disruptive, encourage the disheartened, help the weak, be patient with everyone. Make sure that nobody pays back wrong for wrong, but always strive to do what is good for each other and for everyone else. Rejoice always. Pray continually. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Do not quench the Spirit. Do not treat prophecies with contempt, but test them all. Hold on to what is good. Reject every kind of evil. May God Himself, the God of peace, sanctify you through and through. May your whole spirit, soul, and body be kept blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. The one who calls you is faithful, and he will do it. Brothers and sisters, pray for us. Greet all God's people with a holy kiss. I charge you before the Lord to have this letter read to all the brothers and sisters. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Let's pray. Father, thank you for being the initiator and finisher of our spiritual growth. Please help us to trust you for that good work. Thank you, Lord. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks for listening today. My name is Kirsten Holmberg, and today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries.